Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have Clue Jr. Except we have Clue Jr. the Color Forms way. It's more fun to play the Color Forms way. As always, the classic picture toy that sticks like magic. So again, I picked this up at a local Dollar Tree store uh, for $1.25. I'm going on a long trip today, a uh, long trip down to Florida with my kids and my family, and uh, I wanted to make sure that we picked up a, a fun game for them to play in the back seat as we're driving down, because it's about a 16 to 18 hour drive, and uh, I would, don't want the kids staying on their cell phones for all that time for obvious reasons. So this way they have uh, some board games that they can play, and we're gonna play it the color forms way. So that's what the back of the box looks like. And always remember that color, form, uh, color forms have inspired creative expression and fun for over 60 years. The classic restickable shapes provide endless opportunities for imaginative storytelling and the countless combinations enhance learning through open-ended play with pieces that stick like magic. It's more fun to play the color forms way. And of course, this game came out in 2023 by Peachtree Playthings. For more information about this product, you could always go to peachtreeplaythings.com. Okay, so it's, uh, uh, again, it's for ages six plus and for two to six players. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Okay, get more of this. Oh, we got more stuff in here. Because there's a lip on here, it's sometimes tricky to get stuff out. One more thing down. There. Okay, excellent. Put the box to the side. So the first thing you're gonna get that we'll see, take a look at, is the rule book. And again, the rule book is one, a one side piece of paper, nothing on that. So clue. Again, it's for ages six plus, two to six players. Again, this is clue junior, not clue itself, but clue junior. It tells you what we have inside the box. The object game. Uh-oh, someone broke one of the uh one of the one. Someone broke one of the one of the toys. Oh, there's a misprint right there. It's up to you to uncover which toy is broken, who broke it, and when they did it. Here you go, what you're gonna do for setup for the first time you play. Then that's setup of the actual game itself. You're gonna play, you're gonna take turns rolling the die to see if you can move your character. Look under other characters or check under furniture as you find clues. You'll eliminate choices and eventually discover what happened. The youngest player goes first. Of course, then again, on your turn, you're gonna to have to do certain steps. Roll the die, did you land on a footprint? Mark your sheet and are ready to solve the mystery, okay? To play again, remove the furniture and character clings from their tokens, mix up the tokens and set up a new game. It's a new mystery every time. Remember that put the toy chest to the side when mixing up the white tokens. All right, so there's your handy dandy rule sheet. We're also going to take a look at this. So these are the characters, the toys, the furniture, and the times. So you got Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlet, Mr. Green, Mrs. Peacock, Dr. Orchid, that's someone new, and Professor Plum. So Dr. Orchid, to me, that's a new person. I'm used to Mustard, Scarlet, Green, Peacock, and Plum, but Dr. Orchid has now joined us. Remember to cross out both things. You also have some toys. You got the T-Rex, the race car, the teddy bear, Mr. Potato Head, Xylophone, Ball. Furniture, you got pool table, desk, chair, piano, plant, and a dining table. And times, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And you get a nice little book full of these. And they are the same on the front and the back. So you can play multiple, a multitude of games. So that's cool. You always need that for clue. You always need to be able to cross off the clues as you gain them. You also have this cool... Um, Board. The board is, as you can tell, it's not too big, but it's a nice size for, you know, basically what I would like to call a pocket game. You know, so that's length lengthwise. That's pretty much the whole game right there. I'm going to fold it in half here and show you both sides up close. So you've got different rooms here. Your starting points for your characters, or for your, you put your token there and you walk on the feet. That's pretty cool. I like that. So 
we got that room there. Got another room here. Then you get the second side of the board. You get the center, which is the Clue Junior, it says right in the middle there. Normally, they have the titles of the names of the rooms that you're entering, but I guess in this version, they don't have that. So you got your main foyer. Looks like you got an office there. Not sure, looks like a library there. Just looks like some sort of living room here. Again, starting point for your different characters or in different colors. Looks like a den of some sort. Oh no, it looks like the table where they're eating at. Yeah, that's a, that must be the dining room. Just looks like the kitchen itself. Looks like a music room. And looks like a garden. All right, so there you go, there's your game board. Again, your game board, your set of rules, and of course, again, your checklist for the game. This is kind of cool. You got to make your own die. So if I take this out of the package real quick. You have a blank cube, which you create your die from. And then you have your stickers that go on it. So it says you can't move, and then you got you can move two spaces or three spaces or four spaces. So that's the little die that you're gonna make, and the little baggie it comes in. So we'll put that right over here. Then you have, I believe this would probably be your tokens for your time tracker and for your characters. And you just pop that out. And it's again, it's very small pieces of cardboard. Not the best quality, but at the same time, it's going to get the job done for a dollar twenty-five. You can't, uh, you can't complain. So there you go. Does it stick back in there? Yeah. All right. So there you go. So you got that as well. And last but not least, you also have the stickers that go on. So I'm assuming that the yellow stickers go on the yellow dots. Your characters go on the white ones. Or you could do the characters on the white and the yellow, and you can do it to however you want to do. And these are the clings that go in each of the different rooms, um, indicating you know where clues are coming from. And that's a mystery box. So I'm not sure what that's for. But again, we'll read the instructions and I'll teach the kids how to play it. So there you go. That's everything that's included in this unboxing of Clue Jr. done the color forms way. Remember, it's the classic to picture toy that sticks like magic. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always give us a thumbs up. You can always leave a comment below as well. We'd love to read what you're thinking. Of course, if you did enjoy this, uh, this video, you can always click on the subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content on the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.